So now we need to uh, have at least four slots with relevant names like uh, households without children done in the daytime. So daytime. Okay. And of course we need evening time households uh, so this is evening time right and likewise we need to change this to uh, daytime households with children and evening time additionally households with children so notice that before we describe the new constraint total number of evening interviews and so on we need to update the original constraints that we have that were built on top of previous uh, decision variables, right? So each NC now uh, splits into two decision variables. Fortunately, it's quite easy if you are doing this consistently and systematically, right? So it's quite simple because the C becomes DC plus EC because C was our original uh, total aggregate amount of what has now become daytime and evening time. So NC will be DNC plus ENC. So far so good. Okay. So that was for all the previous constraints. Now let's look at how we can describe this new constraint. The total number of evening interviews, the actual number. The actual number is going to be given by the decision variables. I don't know the decision variable numbers. In fact, that's the reason why we have decision variables because we don't know. We wonder how many and how much, right? So, however, when we have this expression, total number of evening interviews, we can uh, uh, deploy the decision variable. So, evening interviews will be described by all the variables starting with E. So, ENC plus EC. So, that will be the total number of evening interviews. According to the business owner's concerns, this amount, this ENC plus EC, the evening uh, interviews, must be at least as great as, right? So, so it has to be greater than or equal to the number of daytime interviews. The number of daytime interviews. So in this case, again, we don't know exactly in the optimal case how many uh, interviews will be done in the daytime because that's made up of uh, DNC plus DC. But now, at this point of writing the model, before we solve it, we can always write DNC plus DC. That will satisfy this constraint. So far, so good. Okay. So notice that this also is uh, a bit, um, it feels a bit different. Uh, from the resource limitation performance requirement categories of constraints because the right hand side is also a changing number dnc plus dc is a dynamic number depending on the outcome of the optimal solution right so here both the left hand side and right hand side in fact the whole expression has no number or rather the number is a natural zero if you bring all the variables to the, to the left you have a zero on the right hand side so the zero has no significance in the sense of certain actual physical amount has to be zero no uh, performance requirement has to be at least zero no all right so this is the sort of uh, constraint that is not belonging to resource limitation nor performance requirements but let's look at the other the last two at least 40 percent of interviews for households with children must be conducted during the evening okay first of all the hundred percent refers to households with children so households with children is our hundred percent okay so forty percent of the interviews for households with children so houses with children consisting of uh, with children DC plus EC, right? Forty percent of this amount, DC plus EC, must be done during the evening. 
during the evening. That means of all the households with children, make sure uh, quite a large amount. We won't say 50% more because the requirement is 40%. But a substantial amount of interviews for these groups with children should be done in the evening, taking into consideration, you know, children comes back from school and all that. So uh, this has, has, been, has to be conducted during the evening has to be conducted during the evening. So we would say that 40% um, of this. So in other words, evening time households with children, evening time households with children must be greater than equal to this amount here. All right, let's twist our logic a little bit. Huh? We, we, sometimes it's hard to directly interpret the description because of the awkwardness of the expression or the the sort of a uh, little bit of a logical uh, uh, trap sometimes right of the words but when we re-express it let's say that uh, of all the households with children right those conducted in the evening must be 40 percent or more okay and therefore we would say that the number of interviews done on households with children in the evening must be greater than or equal to 40% of the households with children, right? So we would then say that the households with children done in the evening, but we have a decision variable directly describing that. Households with children done in the evening has to be at least greater than or equal to uh, this expression 0.4 times dc plus dc yeah makes sense okay so this is the exactly the sort of proportionate constraint that we are talking about okay so this is the kind of proportionate constraint we are talking about where the a certain percentage or proportion like two-fifths or four-tenths right of certain decision variable or combinations in this case combinations of decision variables can be subset doesn't be can, doesn't need to be the be everything uh is then constrained against of set into inequality with another subset of the decision variable list so in this case it's just easy it can be also uh expressed in such a way that 0.4 times dc plus ec less than equal to point uh, seven times dnc plus enc something like that right if if that is really of business concern so uh all these with percentages and fractions of multiples of the decision variables and there is no natural constant number involved here uh, these are called the proportionate constraints all right so we need to be aware of them and understand that it is all right in fact correct that there is no constant involved because this is proportionate and now that we have uh, managed to describe the first proportionate constraint it becomes easier to look at the second and the last constraint where we now are talking about households without children right so first of all, 60% of the households without children, that's made up of daytime and evening time, must be conducted during the evening. So households without children and done in the evening, but we have something like that, right? Uh, households with children, uh, with no children, and also done in the evening, this quantity must be at least greater than or equal to the 0.6 times dnc plus dnc again a proportionate constraint All right. and finally uh, notice that in this case i haven't really written down the objective function because i'm just going along with the flow and also at the same time to suggest to you that the <clears throat> the business question the the business situation that or the case that is being presented to you as the problem solver is never necessarily sequential you know that they will tell you the nature of decision variables first and then objective function no it, it will be jumping around and 
you should be on the alert right and uh, and look out for the how many and how much the concerns about the quantities right so up to now we have gathered four question marks four quantities that this problem needs to solve needs to understand i need to allocate number of interviewers for daytime evening time with children without children and so on right then come some costs households with children done in the daytime is twenty dollars so we can add up the total cost the total cost is twenty dollars times daytime with children twenty five dollars evening time with children eighteen dollars daytime without children twenty dollars day evening time without children so this expression <coughs> It is a description of the total cost to implement a thousand interviews subject to all these constraints right now since it is cost and the problem didn't really say whether we should maximize or minimize what do you think well please never never write maximizing the cost right so uh, nobody will hire you and naturally we should write minimize this expression of total cost and now it feels very right because all the parameters, the 20, 25, 18, 20, all fall in place nicely. We don't have excess uh, <clears throat> decision variables that we don't have a cost to. For example, if we had defined an afternoon interview with households with children, we will have no cost number. Is it $15? Is it $10? Is it $50? We have no number to associate with then we should uh kind of realize that we are missing something we have over defined the decision variable it is possible that we might missed and uh, didn't define totally right the with children case or the daytime evening time case and then we will be left with what why do you need 20 and 25 for house of your children and that is good should cause you alarm right should cause you to wonder uh, have i missed something right because there are different costs and do i take the average no that, that's never going to work right 22 dollars and 50 cents no so uh, all these are little little hints here and there that might guide you in case you went too far uh, without realizing that you're on the wrong track